So hello everybody, blessed Ramadan to all. Um, I will speak today about our center, the National Space Science and Technology Center. Uh, the webinar will cover uh, UAU overview, and FTC overview, uh, the center's projects and activities, assembly integration and testing facility. Um, UA University is a, a public research university located in Al Ain, founded in 1976. Uh, it includes 30,000 uh, 30, emirati and international students with nine colleagues. Uh, UAU is ranked uh, seven in the Arab world and uh, two, uh, 284 worldwide. Uh, there are eight research centers and the, under the university. Uh, one of them, the National Space Science and Technology Center. The National Space Science and Technology Center was established in November 2016 with the objective to, to serve the UAU's uh, national space vision. One goal of the NSSTC is to participate in the national educational and research priorities in the field of space science and technology, which will lead to sustainable economic growth and support the advancement of countries, uh, of countries' strategic sector. The mission of the center is to establish an, an infrastructure for the development of space technology to contribute to building a knowledge-based economy and sustainable development, uh, to promote scientific research and development, participate in building the, uh, the Emirates Space Program, uh, forming part, uh, partnership with the pioneers of uh, aviation and space industry in the country. The center is funded by uh, UA University, UA Space Agency, ICT Fund, Tatra, and Tawazan. Uh, several projects fall under the center, such as uh, 813 Ban Earth Observation Satellite. It's a strategic project initiated by UAE's Vice President and Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, and funded by UAE Space Agency to act as a platform of collaboration between the member uh, countries of the Arab Space Cooperation Group. And it's a microsatellite, and the, its size will reach to 100 kilograms. Uh, it will be in low Earth orbit and the launch date will be end of 2024. And the strategic goals, uh, our strategic goals of, uh, for the, this project is to acquire a better understanding of climate change, uh, change and development solution to significant environmental issues, to encourage the Arab countries to step into the field of space science and technology, to foster uh, SDC space engineers and its capabilities, to analyze the NSSTC's new assembly integration and test uh, facility. Other project is Al uh, Ainsat. Al Ainsat is a collaboration project between NSSTC and IEE, uh, Geoscience and Remote Sensing uh, Society, in the form of the, uh, the second uh, GRSS uh, student grant challenge in order to allow students teams to develop Earth observation payload for a small satellite. Uh, it will be in low Earth orbit, the size of uh, three U cubesat, and it will launch in October, 2023. So as you can see in the right side, the design of the satellite and the logo as well. Also, we have a global navigation satellite system augmentation system. Uh, it will be uh, in low Earth orbit, the size uh, 6U, 6U CubeSat, uh, launch date in 2024. Uh, the experiment with different DNSS augmentation techniques uh, by transmitting augmentation signals from the LEO and validate high uh, precision in orbit position and det determination, determination algorithm. Perform remote sensing using GNSS uh, reflectometry. 
And also we have um, NSSTC's uh, Universal Ground Station. Uh, the objectives of the NSSTC Ground Station <clears throat> are uh, to uh, operate multi-mission Universal Ground Station while building the national capabilities to operate and <clears throat> maintain it. Uh, moreover, it will be operated for uh, local and global mission. Uh, to also to collaborate uh, with external uh, parties to assist uh, assist in the goals of uh, ultra high fre uh, frequency. And uh, one of the once the first stage is complete, the NSSTC's uh, ultra uh, UGS uh, will operate independently to reach its objective. So we have uh, three uh, ground stations. Uh, ultra high frequency uh, operates around the uh, center frequencies of uh, 400 uh, megahertz. Uh, SX ground station, one hosted uh, ground station of S band. Here are the examples of the students' projects: uh, satellite IO IoT machine design, uh, computing system CubeSat ADCS. Attitude Determination Control System for CubeSat, and Power Management and Distribution System for CubeSat. So uh, we have in our center uh, three units, Earth Observation and Remote Sensing, uh, Balantary Science, and Radio, uh, radio Astronomy. So in the Earth observation, we are working in land cover land use, 3D terrain modeling, uh, in planetary science, we are working in Mars climate and dust uh, cycle modeling, uh, Mars uh, atmospheric data assimilation, and also participating in scientists in EMMM uh, science team. Regarding uh, radio, uh, radio astro astronomy, uh, we are working in radio array. For the NSSTC AIT capabilities, uh, we have a clean room in our center, a space where provisions uh, and uh, are made to reduce the particulate com uh, contamination and control other environmental parameters, such as the temperature, humidity, and pressure. And the size of the clean room, uh, 20 meter by 16 uh, meter. The thermal, uh, thermal vacuum chambers uh, we have small tea bag and large tea bag, and uh, 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 the uh, and all uh, all uh, both of them is used to uh, to simulate simulate conditions found in the space uh, uh, exposition, uh, exposing, exposing components and system to vacuum and extreme temperature violations. And as you can see, see here, the uh, pictures of um, shows the large debug. And regarding the vibration shaker, I used to do, used to do the vibration testing of the spacecraft to simulate um, launch vibration environment. Uh, for the climate chamber, used to test uh, the effect uh, of specified environmental uh, temperature and humidity conditions on the spacecraft. And the size of uh, the size of it, uh, one, uh, 1 1.5 meter by one for uh, 1.5 meter. And we have four uh, labs in our center, uh, mechanical lab, thermal lab, Electrical lab and MLI manufacturing. So that's it. And um, thank you all for uh, the your attention and listening. And thank you, Reem, for invited inviting me to be a speaker. Um, looking forward to more opportunities to collaborate in the future, inshallah. So, and if you have any inquiries or need more details. Uh, regarding any project, uh, please do not hesitate to contact us.
and our social media or by sending an email and um, we will gladly uh, we will gladly answering you